good morning. This fishing obsession is a terrible thing. Everything I do reminds me of fishing. So yesterday evening I was digging in my garden and I come across some beautiful earthworms and all I could think about was getting down to my little perch spot and catching some perch. So today we're going to do a little freshwater perch fishing with earthworms and shrimp. So just caught, just caught a little cichlid, a Rio Grande cichlid. It's an invasive species in Louisiana. It's actually illegal to return them back to the water. So we'll dispatch this one and get rid of it. Well, I'm down here to my little perch spot and I'm shocked at how overgrown it is just in a, about a month and a half since I've been here. So I'm starting off with a worm and see what happens with it. I got my first one on a worm there. Let's see what we got here. Uh, not the good ones I was hoping. Ooh, there's a good one on the shrimp over there. Not the big ones I was hoping for. Worms. Getting bigger. Getting bigger. Still not the big giant ones I'm looking for though. Got a little bitty one. Little bitty bitty one. Pretty little bluegill. Oh, pretty little bluegill. small there we go first decent one of the day huh still small Wonder where all the big boys are. A pan fry. Makes you wonder why in March and April you can catch so many big ones in this spot and then right now it's all little nibblers. Nothing even big enough to take it down. See, like that, they hold the bait in their mouth and that's it. Where they clean you out, like that. Wait all day with no bait on your hook. Well, I'm not getting the big giant ones I had dreamed of and hoped for, but I'll fish for a couple hours, just a little enjoyment. And uh, go home and put my ice in the freezer. I don't have to fillet fish today. All right, perch love worms. Let's prove that theory right here. See the little little bitty nibblers. He's hooked. 
Oh ho, looky here, looky here. A little Rio Grande. So just caught just caught a little cichlid, a Rio Grande cichlid. It's an invasive species in Louisiana. It's actually illegal to return them back to the water, so we'll dispatch this one and get rid of it. Using my worms, got another little one. Let me find him something. <laughs> one way to get them off, huh? Yeah, another little perch. I tell you what, I would love to do. I'd love to catch a whole mess of them Rio Grands and get them out of this water. Makes you wonder how many of those invasive ones are in here. Never know. Gotcha. Little bitty perch. Little bitty perch on worms. Still is fun though. It looks like the worms actually getting more more bites today than shrimp were. Still nothing big. Like uh, March and April they were bedding in here. Man, we were catching one pound perch. 30, 40, 50 a trip, whatever you wanted to keep. I've been here almost two hours and got maybe a dozen uh, throwbacks. Still a good day, still a good time out on the water. Last bait. They haven't turned on yet today, they're not going to. See, they'll start nibbling the instant, instant you put it out there. Little tiny, tiny perch. I'll go one more worm. Ooh wee! Oh, another Rio Grande. <laughs> Have to do just like the last one. So here's another Rio Grande cichlid. Like I said earlier, invasive species, I'll dispatch them humanely because it's against the law to return them to the water here in Louisiana. So just to be humane, I'll dispatch them quickly and dispose of them. Alright, another good day fishing, didn't catch a bunch of keepers, but I got out the house, caught a few perch, caught a few real bronze cichlids, had a good time. Quick little morning freshwater fishing trip. Nothing to speak of. Caught a maybe a dozen little small throwback perch, but I did catch two invasive species, the Rio Grande cichlid. So they showed up in City Park, New Orleans, about 20 years ago, and uh, now they're starting to show up everywhere in freshwater around here. When uh, Katrina came and flooded everywhere, I guess they dispersed all over the place. So. Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries, it's actually a rule when you catch them, you can't return them back to the water since it's an invasive species and, and uh, it's really hard on the bluegill perch and bass eggs and nests. So dispatched them humanely and got rid of them. <coughs> so till the next video, get out there and go fishing. <laughs>